The Dodge County Indians try to remain undefeated on the season. Tonight, they're welcoming Fitzgerald to Eastman. We go to Memorial Stadium, also known as John M. Peacock Field. Coach's usual spot right there. All it takes is all we got. We know he definitely gave all he had and much, much more. Coach, we definitely miss you. All right, let's get to the action. The Purple Hurricanes trying to move down the field. It's fourth down. They run this one up the middle, but Dodge County stops the rush. A great effort right there by the D-line. They'll bring out the chains to measure, and it's a turnover. Indians would take over. So Dodge County gets to work. Handing it off to Aaron Pitts. He's going to take this one up the middle. Oh, yeah, that's a nice gain for the young man. He's going to pick up the first down. A few plays later, Indians near the goal line. R.J. Carr giving it to Pitts again. He's going to dive forward, and he crosses the plane. That's the first score of the ball game. Indians would lead 7-0 after the extra point. In swing possession now. Fitzgerald out to punt. It's a bad snap. Ball is bouncing around. The kicker's in trouble. Tries to clear it, but the defense swallows him up, and Dodge County's J.T. Ellis lands on top of it. And it's a short field for the Indians. So they give it to Pitts again. Oh, baby, he's going to follow the boys up front, landing into the end zone for the score. Dodge County goes up 14 to nothing. So this is the first play after Dodge County would kick it off. Check this out. The ball is bobbled on the pitch. Uh-oh, that is trouble. Rayshon Mathis scoops it up, and he's going to score an easy touchdown for the Indians. They're going to go up 21 to nothing. And it's all Dodge the rest of the way. Zaxby's FFN scoreboard. Fitzgerald loses big. Dodge County takes it 28 to 9, guys.